Hey, what's happening? It's your dude, Reese. For one, I just wanted to go ahead and say uh, thank you uh, to all your new subscribers and everything. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, stop by and just say a little uh, something, something, especially to my uh, new ones. New subs, welcome to the booth. Now, what I want to do is actually go ahead and address the last uh, one of the recent videos that I actually uh, did regarding, you know, the passport traveling community or as some of you guys like to call it either the traveling tricks or the passport posse or the flow, the flute out fellas, whatever you guys want to call them. We're just going to go ahead and respectfully call them the passport brothers or the passport community. We're just going to keep it at that. Right. So I've been peeping some of the comments. And yes, I could have went ahead and fired back. I could have retaliated. I could have. But the thing is, I noticed your boy, the merciless, apparently hit a nerve. And as you probably guys probably noticed, I put a little, uh, little something, something that I'm going to actually have people who are part of that passport community or the traveling community to actually come on my platform so we could go ahead and have a cool little discord, a little discussion. We're not here to insult anybody. We're not here to insult one another. I know we had other platforms out there kind of making fun of the passport, you know, bros and things like that. And of course, there's some other uh, platforms out there that correspond with the passport community that make fun at the men who are struggling dating in the US. So how about we just go ahead and hear from the horse's mouth. But I did want to address some of the comments though. I, even though to me, it really it's really minor. It's, it's not even a big deal. But I guess there were just some things that I probably left out <clears throat> of the video that I wanted to say that I thought some of you guys would get. Some people will pretty much just watch a video and take everything at face value. And some of us, you know, edit things out in order to like, you know, um, so it could fit a certain time because I, I know I could be long winded. I try not to be long winded. I try to make my videos, you know, within eight to 10 minutes, but sometimes I just keep on going and going. But I did want to address something. That video, I was actually not talking about those who are in the military who travel. You're in the military traveling. It's not that you have a passport. You're in the military. So I get that. And I know some of you guys even said like, hey, I done traveled all over the world. Uh, that's, a, that's an over-exaggeration, you know, to me personally. They traveled all over the world and they have noticed that there is a huge difference between American women and the foreign women. So the question that pretty much all of the community as a whole that people want to know is really, but are you traveling to find a wife and, or are you traveling just for the sex? Because you say foreign women are easier. If that is the case, great, good for you. But why is what you're doing working over there, but it's not working over here in the U S the United States is huge. Whatever state that you live in is huge. Even some of the smallest states or whatever, you probably will have a little bit more success, especially if you're in a small state in a metropolitan area. I don't know, maybe like a like a New York or, you know, or Jersey. Those are like little itty bitty states, but they have huge popular metropolitan areas. Right. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically have some cats come on to tell us, like, really, where was your struggle at? Why are you successful overseas, but not successful here? And the only reason why people like myself can become defensive is because of the overgeneralization. Black women have these attitudes. Black women are difficult. Black women are masculine. The American black women is this, that, this, that, this, that. Some of us, we would, yeah, we admit it. We have caught smoke from black women, but we just move on to the next one. And we've had success finding the ones that were fit for us, finding the ones that got along with us, finding the ones that we actually are in, in committed relationships with. So the question is, what were you guys doing? What were you guys saying? What were you guys talking about? Some of you guys on your platforms actually tell on yourselves from what we see on our end, but that's actually what we're just talking about. What are you going overseas to do? Because we keep on hearing the same countries over and over again, Dominican Republic, Colombia, uh, Brazil, and it starts over again. We keep, you know, we keep on hearing the same things over and over again, but we really haven't heard anybody from the traveling community and the community is, is big, but we really haven't seen too many of the platforms talking about how they found love, how they found a wife, how they created a family. We just keep on hearing the women over there 
are more submissive, they're more feminine, and their bodies are tighter. We keep on hearing the physical. We're not really hearing anybody settle down. And if that's what you do, if you're going over there to be a player, <laughs> then much love and respect. But if you're shitting on the pee on the women over here on your soil, I'm not trying to come off patriotic or anything like that. But the point that we're just trying to make is what are you going over there to do? If you're just going over there to have casual sex whenever you can get out the country, then OK. But we're just trying to find out, is there a cap somewhere? Is somebody capping? Because like I said, we're not really hearing too many men come back from that community talking about like, man, I have about three potential wives, you know, like I love all three of them and I just don't know which one to choose. We just keep on keep on hearing that the women over here are harder to date. And so when we hear phrases like that, we're over here thinking like, are you saying that they're harder to have casual encounters with? What is it? So that's pretty much the reason why a lot of people have, you know, have inquired about that community. Because if you're flying overseas just to have fun, just say you're going overseas just to have fun because it's harder to have fun here with the women on your own soil. Anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. I want everybody to have a good day. And yes, that new uh, special is going to be fire and it's going to be very interesting. I'm out this piece.